Hi, this is Barbara, and this is Charlie, the bearded collie, and we're going to demonstrate for you today how I do around the eyes of the bearded collie to give a natural look, but uh, not have hair in the eyes. And um, so there's two main tools that I use, excuse my cracking voice, um, a small thinning scissor like this, it's my favorite, and also a small curved, um, this is a five and a half inch curved bevel edge little scissor. And so we do, first we're gonna kind of comb out the beard a little bit, which I see didn't quite get done uh, before when my, uh, my assistant combed the beard out. And by the way, when you're trying to comb out this coat, don't try to just drag tools through the coat, but lift and put in and lift, and that way you'll get the undercoat out without so much um, pressure on the dog's skin. It's more comfortable for them, and it's really more efficient of uh, getting a full comb out. Okay, there you go, Charlie, that's good. And we'll get up here. And I'll get this side a little better. So this is a this is a bonus lesson on combing out the beard. So see how I'm doing at it? I'm just going in and then out. And it loosens it up and combs it at the same time. So then, see I'm getting a whole lot of... This dog has a profuse undercoat. He's got a lot of coat and he's got a lot of undercoat more than I've ever seen in a beardy before. It makes his grooming very challenging, makes his, his care very challenging because the coat mats easily, it picks up stuff easily. It's not a nice hard single layer coat, it's just full of fuzzy undercoat. Okay, so there's the beard combed out. And here's my trick. My, the most important thing that I can offer you is to use a thinning scissor instead of straight scissors across these areas because that gives it, when you use a straight scissor um, or even a curve, but when you use a regular scissor, it just chops it up and makes it look Un unnatural. So I'm going to use my thinning scissor and I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to do all the way under the eyes and kind of up the stop or this part that goes up. So here I am. I hope you can see this. Charlie's a good boy. Fortunately, I have a path from where I've gone before. We groom this dog about every six weeks and it's a massive uh, three to four hour job. He's, he's not only profuse of coat, but he's a bit on the uh, spooky wild side. He doesn't enjoy his grooming nearly as much as his housemate, Katie the Bearded Collie, um, loves for us to, to fix her up and is very cooperative. Okay, so see, I'm getting all of this up. And then I'm going to, now I'm going to comb everything up. So I think I need to get a little bit of that. See that? I see it. Do you see what I see? Yeah, I see what you see. Okay, now I'm going to comb all this front part down because this is what happens. It falls down. Just take some back, hey, hey, comb some down, and we're going to use the curved scissors, and we're going to go up and over, up and over and down the other side, doing kind of an arch, right? And that sets where we want that top uh, of the eyes to be, and then you can pull down some more and cut to that same place where you did the last, the first cut, and then that will keep the hair from the top of the head 
from thawing in the face in two weeks, right? So now I'm going to use my thinning scissors and kind of do a uh, gently kind of blend in over the top of the eyes here. And I can, get, I can get a little bit more of this by coming in here. Yeah, I just need to be a little bit cautious and careful. But see how that's coming up. See, that's starting to look um, real natural. See, and as I clean out more hair, I find more up in here that I probably need to take out. But that's okay. That's how it works. And notice that... The thinning scissor, also known as a blending scissor, does not make it look all choppy around in there. So I'm going to take some of this length off. I just know that's aching to fall on his face. And do around his eyes like this. Just carefully, not getting, not getting too close, but just close enough to keep the eyes open. And, um, there we go. I'll get a little bit of that. See? Thinning scissor is uh, your best friend for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to take a look at him. Uh oh, what a pretty boy. And can kind of come up here and, and... You don't want to cut the over the eyebrow flat to the skull or he'll look really weird. So you see we are leaving it with some, um, some volume up in here. Because if I were to do this kind of, I, I might as well then just clip it and he'll look, yeah, really funny. I, well, sorry if you do it that way uh, for me to call it funny, but I do. I, I, like, I like to make it look almost like they do for the show ring, except I'm doing, I'm actually cutting here. I'm not just pasting it for the show ring. They don't cut it. They leave it and then they comb it back and they use product to, leave, to glue it back. But they create this same kind of a look. Ooh, finding us some, that's in your ear, boyfriend. Yeah, here we go. Okay, that's a good boy. Yeah, okay, so what do you think? I See, that was simple. Didn't even take too long. Now it's up to your, your choice how much to take off of this. I think you could take a little bit of that off. You want this to kind of blend into that, so you don't want to take... Well, look, let's just take that and see if we like it. Yeah, that's, that's okay, huh? And take a little bit off this side. We blend it into, blend it into this side of the face. And then it doesn't look, it looks real natural. I like this look. I like Charlie. He's hard to groom, but he's our boyfriend. Yeah, you're a good boy. We did it, Charlie. We did it again. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll lick all my makeup off. Okay, so thanks for watching. Ask me some questions if you have them. Bye, beardy people. Breed.